Hello and welcome to another Advanced Skeleton video. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at MetaHuman. It is a really cool system that creates very realistic uh, looking human digital characters that then can be exported to Unreal Engine. And as we're going to look here, we can also be exported into Maya. In this video, we will look at how we can quickly get a advanced skeleton rig to control a metahuman. And if you want to be using the app, you'll uh, need to register for early access as this is not a fully finished product yet. If you do have an account with Unreal, you can sign in and you can request early access. Uh, once you have that granted, you can go ahead and launch the app. Now the MetaHuman app is really cool. It runs in your web browser and essentially is the interface where you can design humans based upon a variety of existing preset humans. And here it is, the app in the web browser loaded up. We can switch over to full screen. A bunch of very cool looking templates here. If we want to create our own, we just choose a template to start with. Let's just select one of these guys. Maybe we'll go with Yuri here. And we'll hit next. That will create our own character based on Yuri. So we can go ahead and make changes. Note there are a couple of cool animations here where you can look at the character. By default, he's in the idling animation. We can switch over to the face ROM, range of motion, and there's a body ROM. And we'll see that we can edit a lot of parameters here. We can change the body type. And we can choose from a variety of clothes. So this interface in itself is very cool, very impressive. Uh, so let's say that that is our character for now. We can give him his own name. And I'm just going to call him uh, Dude. At this point, we'll just exit out of the browser. I'm going to close the MetaHuman Creator interface. I'll go back to the original MetaHuman website uh, where it says that in order to now make use of this character that we've created on the website, we can get an application called the Quixel Bridge. Now, Quixel Bridge essentially allows you to go ahead and download that character that you have created online. Let's start up the Bridge application. Now, the application has a lot of cool functions for uh, browsing assets online and downloading them. What we will be looking at in this case is this MetaHuman section here. You can see that here are all the existing presets. So you can just download a preset if you want, or you can go to my MetaHumans and we will find the character we have created. His name is Dude. And we're going to download him. But first, we're just going to check the settings in Bridge. And we're going to check download setting and export settings. In download settings, you want to make sure that you change this option to say Unreal Asset plus Source Asset. Next, I will also check the export settings. Uh, we're going to export to Maya. If this is your first time setting this up, it's going to have a button here that allows you to install it. I have already installed it. This is a plugin that connects directly to Maya. So we are good to go. Let's download. And now that our character is downloaded, it's time to export this to Maya. So we'll go ahead and start up Maya. And we can see here that we have the plugin, the bridge plugin here installed as we have the MS plugin shelf. MS, I believe, stands for Mega Scans. Uh, also, uh, we'll jump over to Advanced Skeleton and I highly recommend go into the about section and do a check for update and make sure that you're running the latest advanced skeleton version now some of the new features in here uh, that might be needed for this process is that the latest version uh, allows for maya configuration to have uh, the c axis being the up axis so here we go back to bridge we have the character here and we hit export it tells us it is exporting to Maya. If we jump over to Maya, we get a pop-up dialog here that's saying, are you sure you want to 
Continue importing meta human character. Yes. And we get the progress bar as the character gets built. And here we go. We have our character in Maya. So we can see that we have the geometry. And for the body, there is a skeleton uh, with joints that have been uh, skinned. Uh, for the face, there are joints. And there is a control rig on the side here, which is a bit like the one in Advanced Skeleton, but far more detailed. Uh, but there is no body controllers. So this is where we'll uh, use Advanced Skeleton to uh, add a body rig that connects to uh, controlling the joints. So we'll open Advanced Skeleton. Uh, there is a tool to do exactly this called the Name Matcher. Now, there's a separate full video tutorial on this tool itself. I'll add a link to that in the description below. For now, we'll just uh, open the template section. Now, we can see by default here, it has detected that this is a metahuman and switched to the metahuman template. So, all we got to do is go into function. We start off with the first button, create and place fit skeleton. Now, if we open the outliner and hide the metahuman, we can see that this has created a familiar fit skeleton. So then we just hit build advanced skeleton and constraint to joints. So we now have a advanced skeleton rig that is driving our meta human. Uh, note the last button here, create blend shape control. That just creates a series of controls that controls the blend shape nodes in the scene. I would not recommend using this for the meta human because essentially these are the controllers that are already set up to drive the blend shapes. So skip that last step when you're doing meta humans. So there we go, we got our advanced skeleton rig driving MetaHuman. Note that the MetaHuman import has changed the Maya to a Z axis up scene. If you wanted that to go to a standard Maya Y axis up, you just go into the preparation step here and under rig, uh, turn off this checkbox, Z up axis. And we are now in a standard Y up. Now we can do some quick tests by using some of the advanced skeleton functions such as the walk designer. And we got our character walking. Other things we can do here is we can use the mocap library. Uh, this has several sections. Uh, one is that it connects and reads the uh, all the motion capture clip that comes with Maya. Or we can use the uh, CMU database, which has thousands of clips. Now, the one that I find to be quite cool is Michael Jackson style motion. So we'll just apply a Michael Jackson motion capture clip to this guy. And that's it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.